Good morning, all you sassy gals. What's prepping? I am. Are you? <laughs> I'm sitting here at a stoplight and I'm uh, sipping my coffee, waiting for it to turn green. This is one of the longest stoplights ever. <sighs> That's because it's close to a major highway intersection. But we are going out today uh, to pick up four cases of mason jars. I got the uh, 16 ounce mason jars with the smooth sides. I believe that's what they are. Now, I got word that, you know, that there might be a shortage or, you know, on mason jars or there might be something else going on with them. So I got to look in and I was watching another channel and, and his wife had uh, gotten a bunch and I thought, oh goodness, I should probably get some more. I have two cases in my closet. I have a bunch that are just not being used. And I thought, you know, maybe I should go ahead and get some more because I'm starting to do more canning and more, I do a lot of dry canning. And so I thought, oh, okay, guess I should look at getting some more. And so I started checking around a few different places. I looked at Walmart and there's nothing at Walmart. I have two Walmarts and there's nothing. Of course, I check the prices on Amazon, and I really think Amazon has is price gouging or doing something because, you know, when you're having to look at paying for um, thirty dollars for twelve um, sixteen ounce mason jars, um, that's like way too much. You know, it should be a dollar or less. You know, but anyway, so. I was like, okay, well, let me just see, you know, I looked on there for a little while to see if I could find anything that was cheaper than, than that for, a, you know, a case of 12. But then I was like, wait a minute, hardware stores have these. So I went and I looked at our local hardware store. It's a mom and pop business, but it's a true value hardware store. But this morning I was up at 4.30 and trying to make an order and um, something happened. Like I put two cases in my cart they only had four, so you know I wanted to leave some for somebody else. And I put two of them in a cart, and all of a sudden I couldn't use the site anymore. And I thought it might have been something on my end, but it wasn't. I don't know what happened. It was just like like all of a sudden at 5 a.m. I was like couldn't use the site. So like, well, okay, screw that. So what other hardware stores are around me? I just know of that one or the big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. And there was another store that is um, one town over <laughs> and it has uh, it's a um, oh goodness it's an ace hardware but it's another independently owned uh, store and so they had a bunch and I was able to get curbside pickup so I'm gonna go do that so that was my morning spending probably the first hour hour and a half of my morning searching for mason jars and apparently there aren't any in my town I have to drive out of town to go get them Ooh! So I heard there might be a coffee shortage coming. No, we can't have that, you guys, no. You guys have to let me know what does the coffee look like in your area because you guys, I will drive to buy coffee. I will drive. You know, I would try to get as much ground coffee as I can before I have to switch over to instant. There is somebody that made a comment on one of my videos that talked about a manual coffee grinder and I might have to actually try to find one of those because I could get a lot of bean coffee and then just grind it before we brew it. So. All right, that was an adventure at the hardware store. But I saw lots of canning supplies there. They had the jars and lids, everything. And I was surprised because it's in such short supply everywhere else. So. If y'all have a hardware store, go to Ace Hardware Store. You're going to find yourself some canning supplies. Uh, they had the, I think it's Pure brand, P-U-R. I'm not exactly how to say it because I've only ever used Ball or Kerr. Kerr, 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 Kerr. Anyway, I got uh, 48 jars for approximately $50. So that is more like it. You go on Amazon right now and you're going to see these prices that are going to be two or three times that for just one case of jars, of, a, of 16 ounce jars. So um, if you can, find your local hardware stores. You know, there's Ace or True Value around where you are. They have these supplies. 
Ace Hardware Store also had Freedom Seeds, if you know what I mean. Okay, Freedom Seeds. They were well stocked, but I noticed that I was there at 10, 10.30 a.m. on a Tuesday. And since, so they have gotten stock in over the weekend and talking to a nice gentleman, told me lots of hunting stories. I don't know why I happened to <laughs> get these kind of people. They want to tell me all of their stories. <laughs> so we, um, anyway, we had a little chat there in the Freedom Seed aisle and uh, we uh, got some stock on the Freedom Seeds at Ace Hardware. So go check them out. Go check your local Ace Hardware. Drive if you have to. I drove 20 minutes to from my house to come here. Ooh, sorry about that, my wipers. It's a little rainy today. Uh, but I I will drive. Oh gosh, people. Put y'all, put, ugh, pet peeves driving. Don't make me sassy. Y'all won't like me when I'm sassy. Okay, good. Go support them, it's a local business. Go support them, um, look for them, the supplies. Um, and get you some freedom seeds because you need to stock up on that too because apparently when it comes in it goes right out you know what i'm saying you can find that stuff at walmart too but it, the selection is always very small and i believe they limit you and the man at the store was telling me he says you could buy as much as you want honey well he didn't call me honey he called me honey he'd probably get arrested or something and i said i would love to but can't afford that much <laughs> so we got some to stock up on Speaking of the shortages in some stores, um, there's something else that I was looking for to have in my medical preps. If y'all have medical preps, now I'm not talking about bandages and things, although you should have that. This one is the things that you know you need for when you get sick. You know, like when you we still get colds and flu, believe it or not. It's not all just one thing anymore. And you're gonna need some things, you know, to help you you know, get over your colds and flu. So uh, Walgreens was uh, slim and a lot of, um, just in the whole store, just their seasonal section with like um, Halloween stuff and school stuff was all, we're not even out of September yet, y'all. And the store looked like it had just been like, like everyone went back to school and they bought everything. And there's hardly any Halloween stuff, which is strange. I know Christmas stuff is starting to come out, but I just, I. I have to think in a lot of the stores, I went to Dollar Tree, um, I've gone to, um, you know, of course the Walgreens and CVS's, and then I've also gone, you know, just even at Walmart, like things should be a lot more uh, packed out for Halloween, fall stuff, and Christmas, we should start to be seeing some Christmas stuff. You know, just, just two years ago, I went and bought crafts, maybe it was even last year, it was last year, I went and bought crafts to make for fall right around this time and I couldn't find any because everyone had picked them out. They picked them over. Now it's just not even there. You know, there's a section for it, but it is bare. And um, some of the Christmas stuff that's out, I mean, I already had stuff to make Christmas decorations by this time last year. And like the Halloween stuff was already on clearance last year at this time, you know, and it's like, like, oh my gosh, we're not even October and I have Christmas stuff out. Well, no, that's not the case this year. So, um, I was reminded after my outing yesterday and I'd gone to the Dollar Tree and Walgreens and everything was, um, there were, there was pretty slim. Um, I, I did think that I should at least buy stocking stuffers because I buy those, uh, dollar, uh, boxes of candy and I'll buy those and, uh, they, um, those will go in the stockings for the kids and myself because I love me some junior mints and um what are some of the other ones I love junior mints in the, the the movie size candy boxes that they have they'll have them at Walgreens too they have four for four dollars like almost all the time it's in the bin up by the checkout and I'll get you know I'll get something like um uh, oh gosh lemon heads and junior mints sometimes I'll get skittles it depends on the type of box uh the Dollar Tree would always have Mike and Ike's and I would get those for the kids and Mike and Ike's has been a tradition for I gosh I don't know how many years uh, and so I got to thinking I should probably buy those kinds of things while I see them because even the candy is slim 
to none. Just wanted to share my little outing of what we got. So, and just a reminder to check out your hardware stores for some of the supplies that you're looking for. Oh, and by the way, if you need you a big old pooper scooper, I got one of those too. It's got a rake and it's got another little paddle type of thing and you can just scoop that poop right into this big uh, shovel type of thing and then you can dump it in the trash. Yeehaw! Just said, you know what, I'm gonna buy this stinking $20 pooper scooper I think it's $20 but anyway I found it at my hardware store and it was the last one so I got the last pooper scooper <laughs> y'all take care and until next time prep it up pack it up and stack it to the rafters